So this is um, an audio signal uh, comprised of a uh, single sinusoidal term, which is the cosine here. So now um, you have two questions here. A, find the signal to quantization ratio. It's called SNR. Um, when this is quanti quantized using 10-bit um, PCM, that's the pulse code modulation. And B, how many bits of quantization are needed to achieve an SNR of at least 40 dB. Now, Typically, you know, the the questions in the uh, FE is, are not going to be, you know, two two questions at all. It's just either A or B. Uh, so this is basically two problems. You know, we we could call it two problems. So now let's go ahead and um, solving this. So SNR, the formula for SNR. I don't know if it's in the book though. I didn't look, but I I, I think it's not. But it's it's still good to know because not everything that's not in the book doesn't mean just because it's not in the book doesn't mean they're not going to give it to you. So this is the formula for SNR. It's 12 PS over um, delta S squared. Now PS is the, um, that's your average, um, what do they call it again? The, um, that's your average signal power. And uh, we know how to calculate that. And then delta S is your, um, delta S is your, I can't remember. That's the, yeah, that's the size of each interval. So here we're given a 10 bit PCM. So um, you know, we're going to include that in there. So your average power is your amplitude squared over 2. So we have 4.5 watts. That's your PS. Now, the to calculate the uh, the size of each interval, that's uh, going to be your um, the, the, uh, the swing of the signal. Here in this particular case, uh, the total swing the total swing of the signal is 6 volt in this case so um, to calculate the size of the interval so we have to divide that by um, 2 to the power the number of bits you know we have 10 bit PCM here okay so um, delta S would be equal to your swing which is 6 volt in this case over 2 to the power your number of bits which give us uh, 5.86 times 10 to the power minus 3 and so from here we just go back to the formula and just plug everything that we know and that's pretty much it now typically in the exam it will just stop here you know that it, you know you won't have like a question B or whatnot as a follow-up but it, they can give you either one of these question so consider this as two problems basically all right so 12 times 4.5 over that is gives us 1.57 times 10 to the power 2 now we have to convert this 10 to the power 6 I'm sorry now we have to convert this in um, DB and the formula for that is you have to multiply 10 times and take the um, log of that so SNR is 10 log of the uh, value that we have over there 1.57 times 10 to the power 6 and that gives us um, that gives us um, 62 db decibels So it's, it's always good to actually convert this in um, in decibels, depending on the question, of course. But yeah, typically SNR is, is actually in, in decibels. Now, uh, the second question, how many bits? Um, so here, the, the minimum signal to noise ratio is specified as, specified as uh, 40 dec decibels. So um, we have to bring that back to convert the, the 40 decibels into uh, convert it back to, um, you know, to that um, the value over there. So SNR would be 10 to the power 4. Okay, because we in this case, we are not dealing with decibels. And there's no unit for that. That's why I'm not... Um, I'm not saying that, but you know, there's no units for the first value that we have there, the 1.5. There's no unit in that one. It's unitless. So, but but when you have dB, you have to convert it to the unitless value, 
and that's why we have 10 to the power 4 here using that formula with the logs there and so your SNR would be greater than 10 to the power 4 and so if you make the calculation here then we have is less than 7.35 times 10 to the power minus 2 when you solve for the um, the size of each interval now again here um, the the step size um, is given by uh, again uh, is equal to 6 over 2 to the power n n is the number of bits and this is less than 735 7.35 times 10 to the power minus 2 and so we're just solving for n here because that's the question over there for at least 40 uh, 40 db so 2 to the power n um, doing a calculation gives us um, to be greater than 81.6 and so we just plug in from here now we could use the you know the log to solve the equation but that's not really necessary if n is equal to 6 then you know you have uh, 64 the left side will be 64 but if n is 7 the left side is let's see here if n is 7 uh, you have the left side being um, 128 I think yeah 128 and so we require 7 bits of quantization to achieve a signal to noise ratio of, of at least 40 dB so we can't have the answers in 2 6.3 whatever and trying to you know round that down to 6 no not at all you don't do that because here the question is at least 42 dB so you require 7 bits to, to have that um, quantization ratio so the number of bits should be an integer okay